Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to configure VPN. So normally VPN, we configure VPN in order to establish a secure data, data transformation between the two network so that um, all the communication between two different LAN is encrypted so that no one can easily get into the get into the data information that they are transforming. So as you can see the picture in my in your display uh, these two network and this uh, router i will name as isp yep so so what i will be doing here is i will be establishing a vpn tunnel between these two network so that uh, all the data and uh, information that they are communicating are encrypted so uh, i have already configured all the ip addresses on all the ports so before getting into the, the into the actual configuration make sure you got the static routing so uh, i will do the static routing here first Go to the CLI that's done in router one let's go to the router two P. so i just got confused with the ip address one dot one that's it and with uh, turn with the router two as well now get into the isp enable config t ip route 192.168.2.2 network So I grab same thing on the other network that's so one dot zero two it's two eleven dot one dot one dot two yeah uh that's it we are done with the rocking now let's get into the vpn configuration before uh heading to the configuration we have to make sure that we have license so now do you will see 1900 model number techno was you Before uh, hitting enter, make sure the spellings are correct. If there is any mistake, it won't be executed. So, looks okay. Uh, I think I already got the license. Uh, 
Oh, now you see here. Now it's ask yes or no. Say yes. Then exit right reload. Now your rock will be reload. Time. Let's configure on router two as well. Enable configure license put module C one nine zero zero technology. Yes, exit right reload. Now you're on both the router got the license. Okay, so we're ready. Now we are fully ready for the configuration. Now let's start. Let's go to the router one. Enable Confetti. Repeat your crypto. I set MP. Enable crypto. I set MP policy 20. Oh. Sorry, spelling mistake. So I make sure you have correct spelling. Okay, now authentication will be using pre share authentication and inscription three days. And group uh, will be one. Life, sorry. Lifetime three six zero zero. Uh, exit. So now keep moving. Crypto Isaac MP key. So you can put uh, whatever key you like. So here I'll put capital no, small t e s t test one two three. So after test one two three, then you have to put the address of the next. I mean the opposite network serial port. Okay, that will be when dot one dot one dot. Two. One dot two. That's it. Now crypto IPC NSFORM transform set. So you can put whatever name you like. So let's put test SP three. But make sure that uh, you have same configuration on both the routers. So let's move into the access list. Meet per permit IP one nine two Welcome marks to the uh, one dot zero. Ah, ah. Oh, sorry, that's. 
permit. Okay. Now we're gonna clip. Quit to map my map. Sorry, IP sec sec NP. IPTI or inscription VPN connection to remote office set peer with the same port and then say it to our AMS transform set so test match address 100 Next exit now get into the interface so Okay, let me check which CVO this one's left zero quit to map map. Now you can see I think MP is on. Now let's get into another router with so in another router you have to do the same configuration exactly but uh, what you need to do is make sure that um, you change the address so now we uh, we put this uh, serial port address but when you will be configuring on router 2 so your address instead of this will be 10.1.1.0 and okay and also your IP address permit just make it all the way around what I mean it just uh, when you're in router 2 uh, your address will be 192.168.1.0 then welcome off then 192.162.0 all the way around that's it uh, okay that yeah just change those two things then uh, you should be okay so yeah I have already the configuration on router 2 before we were not able to ping at first now uh, okay let's try okay so we were on PC it will be pinging 192.168. dot mm. Uh, dot one dot two or oh, my spelling now you can see you can ping to another PC let's try through this one uh, two dot two now here you can see we can ping both the PCs uh, okay So Now you can see the result here. So our destination was 11.2. This port and source. This one. Okay, so let's go further more. IP 
one. Now you can see the. Okay, you you can see here the we we said fifteen packets. Now we got fifteen packets back. That means our VPN is working, and we're able to configure. So guys, if you still have confusion, please do comment on my video, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And okay, and last thing what I want to say is, uh, make sure your spellings are correct, and both the configurations should be exactly same. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.